90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 Days couple Hamza Mokniai and Memphis Smith's lives have been turned upside down since they were together in season 5 of the 90 Day Fiancé spin-off. Memphis was a 34-year-old single mom of two from Michigan. She met the 26-year-old Hamza on an online dating site. Memphis had known Hamza for seven months before she decided to fly to Tunisia to meet him. Memphis also wanted to get married to Hamza during this trip. She planned to do it within the two weeks she was going to spend with him Hamza and Memphis could barely speak each other's languages. Memphis found out that Hamza lied about his age after going to his country. Hamza was suspicious about Memphis' relationship with her ex-husband, as they had decided to stay friends despite getting divorced. For these reasons, Memphis decided to get a prenup, but married him without it. That happened because it was too late for her to get one and time was running out. They had a Tunisian honeymoon, and within a week, Memphis found out she was pregnant. Memphis left for the U.S. while Hamza waited for his visa approval, from the very start of Hamza Mokniai and Memphis Smith's relationship, there was underlying deception. When the pair met online, Hamza shared his age with Memphis, who was 34 years old at the time. He indicated that he had just turned 28 however, in reality, he had just turned 26. Trusting her partner, Memphis took Hazma at his word. The truth wasn't revealed until she had traveled to Tunisia, intending to marry him shockingly, Hamza didn't admit his lie. Memphis was having a private conversation with Hazma's sister when the truth slipped out. Hazma's sister mentioned, in passing that Hazma was only three years older than her. Memphis, noting the age of his sister, identified the lie on her own. When she confronted Hazma, he was less than apologetic about his indiscretions. Memphis was rightfully upset, reiterating that they were filing marriage papers the next day Hasma claimed that he wanted to appear more mature to Memphis. His lack of remorse and nonchalant disposition upset Memphis even further. Unsurprisingly, Hasma's family were quick to take his side. Hamza's mother, Hayat, claimed that Memphis was overreacting to the revelation. She enabled Hasma by stating that he simply wanted to feel older, and that Memphis shouldn't get so worked up with a relationship built on lies, the marriage was bound to crumble. The dishonesty marred their relationship, and would snowball until both parties were very unhappy. This resulted in a messy divorce and custody battle down the line. Unfortunately for the couple, the situation did not improve much following that initial deception Memphis and Hamza applied for the CR-1 visa for him as she was an American citizen who got married in a foreign country. Memphis always wished to skip the K-1 visa process entirely so that Hamza could move to the U.S. sooner. Memphis didn't know how long the whole process was going to take, but she wanted Hamza to be present with her for the birth of their baby. Unfortunately, Hamza didn't get to witness the birth of their daughter in October 2021. However, he did come to the States just a few weeks later. In November 2021 Hamza and Memphis were still together when the 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 Days Season 5 Tell All was filmed in January 2022. Memphis alluded to a split with Hazma with a cryptic Instagram story in February 2022. Memphis captioned a photo of her smiling, praying I can smile like this again, soon enough, Hamza and Memphis unfollowed each other. Memphis started reposting several cryptic posts which alluded to her being manipulated in the relationship. In April 2022, Memphis insinuated that Hamza had committed marriage fraud and wrote, Good evening world, let's talk about BZNESS, while asking her fans if they knew what it meant Hamza and Memphis' divorce was finalized in October 2022. In Touch also confirmed that Memphis filed for bankruptcy one month after the divorce was finalized. According to the report, Memphis owed a total of $225,430.57, and her monthly expenses equated to minus $4,640. And meanwhile, court documents revealed why the couple had sought divorce. Memphis had claimed that Hamza was both physically and verbally abusive to her while they were married. Hamza, meanwhile, was accusing Memphis of cheating on him with her ex-husband during their relationship 
alleged texts between Memphis and Hamza and Memphis and Hamza's sister Rawia leaked online, via a true crime Jankie. They suggested that Hamza's attitude changed after he came to the U.S. In America, he began mistreating Memphis. Memphis was seen complaining that Hamza didn't like her town in Michigan, Muskegon, and he didn't want to live there anymore. Memphis claimed Hamza told her he would leave her if she couldn't change cities for him. Memphis was unable to do it until her elder son Bryson graduated. In her own text to Hamza, Memphis accused him of treating her like a slave and throwing tantrums in March 2022. There were rumors that Hamza and Memphis were going to join the cast of 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After. Season 7 A fan had claimed that they'd seen Hamza and Memphis filming with their baby for a new show. As shared by at True Crime Janky, a fan commented on a TikTok from at the Sarah Fraser show, claiming they lived in the same town as Memphis and that the couple was shooting in Muskegon with a camera crew. Hamza and Memphis haven't featured in any 90 Day Fiancé spin-off since their last, before the 90 Day's appearance Hamza moved to Chicago after his split from Memphis. In June 2022, Hamza cried because he wasn't able to celebrate his first Father's Day as a dad with his daughter. He posted an Instagram story, talking about how much he missed his daughter. It was later confirmed that Hamza and Memphis were involved in a nasty custody battle. Hamza's attorney was able to secure an immediate court order granting Hamza monitored visits with the couple's baby in July 2022. Hamza revealed that he finally reunited with his daughter in October 2022. Hamza had asked for a DNA test that would prove he was the father of the baby girl, or confirm that he wasn't. He believed that Memphis was having sexual relations with her ex-husband. The seed of doubt had been planted in Hamza's mind, ever since Memphis told him that she'd been feeling blue at that time, she'd stayed at her ex-husband's house, while she was in a long-distance relationship with Hamza. She hadn't actually met him in person. Hamza accused Memphis of being pregnant before she even met him for the first time in Tunisia. However, Hamza was confirmed to be the child's father, and asked to pay child support Memphis stayed away from social media for most of 2022 and 2023. Even now, Memphis' Instagram page appears to have been deactivated. Memphis took to Instagram in November 2023 and once again accused Hamza of immigration fraud. She posted a video where she claimed she wanted to spread awareness regarding the issue because it happens to many victims. Memphis was not ready to talk about her actual lived experience yet and wanted to save the details for the right people, presumed to be her lawyers and authority figures. Memphis shared a photo of herself before the 2024 New Year to show her weight loss. Hamza's 2024 started with him seemingly revealing that he's working as a hairstylist in Chicago. He posted gym selfies and his usual photos some showed him sitting in a park and looking relaxed. However, in April 2024, Hamza shared a selfie from a hospital bed on his Instagram story with no explanation. 90 Day Fiancé before the 90 Days star Hamza appears to be unwell, but has yet to explain what happened to him to his fans while Memphis, following the dramatic split and several revealing posts, has opted to lie low, Hamza updates his Instagram regularly. On an account boasting over 158k followers, Hazma posts videos around Chicago, many of which have a summer atmosphere. One more upbeat image stands out for its divisive caption, which reads, I left because I have dignity. Hazma can be seen holding up a peace sign in front of the Bean Cloud Gate in Millennium Park seemingly a jab at Memphis, the comment section is split. Many share their support for the man with that Gemwa Sarawi 21 offering, you did the best thing good luck. Conversely, some share a less favorable sentiment. One user, at Klunchbox Davis, expressing her disdain for the prolonged drama, commented, that was like two years ago, vague posts are a weird flex. Many 90 Day Fiancé fans left mean responses, so Hasma censored the comment section by limiting remarks on the other hand, Memphis appears to have deleted her Instagram account entirely. 
it seems as though she and Hazma had received enough backlash and toxicity online to warrant an entire account deletion for her. She remains private for now, as she focuses her attention on her child and personal life. While the split presented numerous trials for Hazma and Memphis, it appears to have been for the best following their checkered past, difficulties with divorce, and disagreements regarding their child's custody, the waters seem to have calm. It's been a while since their 90-day fiancé, before the 90 days stint. This respite from a mutually harmful arrangement allows Hasma and Memphis to focus on their own lives. As Hasma branches out in Chicago and Memphis enjoys a private life, this split enables them to identify the characteristics of ideal future partners. In the meantime, the pair can enjoy the time apart until, hopefully, fans can catch them again on 90 Day Fiancé.